Hey, what's going on? I woke up around three o'clock this morning to drive here before the sunrise, which didn't really happen. If it's really overcast, um, but it's all good. It's whatever. Uh, yeah, so I'm in Mount Rainier National Park now, and I'm at Silver Falls, which are absolutely amazing. It's a very cool place. Um, it was a quick hike out here, only like a mile. So I'm gonna try and hit up some other falls today while, um, while the skies are overcast. So it's gonna make it easier to photograph them. And then Saturday and Sunday, because this is a Friday, Saturday and Sunday, it's supposed to be a lot nicer weather. Um, like it's supposed to be like sunny and stuff. So I'm gonna do some of the longer distance hikes to the different like lakes and stuff that have the reflections of Mount Rainier then. Um, yeah, but overall feeling good, feeling awake. I got some Domino's last night, which I've been craving for literally like a month and a half. So that was awesome. And I got some pretty good local beer, which I've been cruising along. Um, but yeah, all in all, good morning so far. Can't wait to see what the rest of the day holds. I am on the Wonderland Trail right now, heading to Louise Lake, not to be confused with Lake Louise, which is in uh, in uh, Calgary. It's in Banff National Park in um, Canada. But I am just loving this hike. It is so quiet. It is like there's a little bit of wetness in the air. Um, and it's just, the rain's just like dripping down slowly and stuff. And this is exactly what I pictured the um, Pacific Northwest being. So I, it's awesome, I'm really happy. I'm on the Lakes High Trail and I didn't even plan on hiking this, I just parked, there's a trail and I took it. Um, it's so beautiful. I was actually able to see where I was taking photos earlier at Lake, or at Louise Lake, which is pretty dope. There's a bunch of meadows. It's like really nice wildflowers and stuff. Um, it's foggy and atmospheric. I feel like I'm in like, a grim fairy tale or something like that from the Brothers Grimm. Um, it's pretty cool. Pretty good day so far. I don't know what time it is. Um, yeah, I don't know. But I'm just cruising, chilling, like a villain, living it up in uh, Mount Rainier National Park, day one. It is day two in Mount Rainier National Park. And my God, look at this. It's insane. It is so gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Driving up, you can see low in the valley, all, all the fog there and stuff. Um, I'm in the sunrise area right now. And that's like the northeast part of the park. And the drive here was spectacular, but then at the t nearing the top, there was this really, like there's this overlook and you couldn't see anything because it was still cloudy and foggy and stuff, but I stopped and over the next like 10 to 15 minutes, I got some amazing photos as the clouds cleared. Um, and I'm just, I'm ecstatic. These, these photos have been amazing. Conditions are great. the summit of Mount Fremont. You can see the old fire tower behind me here. I'm just sitting at the side of it while I wait, because right now we're in some fog. The top of the mountain's shown a little bit, but not a ton. Um, 
so I'm just gonna chill here for a couple hours or so, see what happens. Um, yeah, the trail was not bad at all. Um, it was right this strenuous, and I just think that I didn't think so compared to the other trails that I've hiked on this trip. I thought it was pretty easy. Um, but yeah, yeah, it was good. There was a, quite a few people on the trail. Definitely, you can tell that uh, on the weekend, it's definitely busier than it is during the weekdays. So I'm going to just keep my par car parked at sunrise. And then there's like a bunch of different trails near here. So I'm going to do some of those as the, as the day goes on. So, yeah. All right, later. The mountain did come out. <laughs> I had to wait around like, I'm not sure on the exact time stamp, maybe like 30, 45 minutes, but it did come out. Um, so after photographing it for a little while, I'm gonna head back now and do another hike. I don't know which one I'm gonna do yet. I know there's a bunch, the trailhead that I started at goes to a bunch of different ones. So I'm just gonna kind of pick one at random, probably like, just like a simple one and then bang that out and just enjoy the day. Um, but yeah, I'm walking back now. And the, the route, I don't know if you can like see it super well, but it's just really like cool. Like you're right on the ridge, or I mean, you're not on the ridge, but it's like, you're, like cause you're on the side of the mountain, but it's all like rocky and stuff, um, which is awesome. So yeah, all in all, great way to start a Saturday. back on the Wonderland Trail, the same one that I was on yesterday visiting Louise Lake. Um, so it's a, I looked it up, it's a 93 mile trail, it usually takes about 10 days to complete, and it goes around the entire base of Mount Rainier. Um, I just had to like struggle down a snow cap, I'm gonna have to struggle down another one soon. Um, but it's so pretty, and then this should also take me back to where I parked the car, which will be good because I can get some food before doing another hike. Um, and I was told there's a baby and a mama bear that hang out around these parts and are very calm. So I'm gonna try and see if I can't see them. But yeah, oh, yeah, that's it actually, all right, bye. Today's update is from the picnic area of uh, the Sunrise part of the park, which is in Northeast. Um, so far today, so far today, I've done 8.7 miles and climbed 94 floors worth of ele elevation gain. Um, I went out to this awesome old fire, fire lookout, like fire watch station. Um, which was really, really cool to see. And then, like, I came back and on the way back. Like, I took a fork and, like, went, like, a different way than I went out to get out there. That was a little bit longer, but definitely worth it. Um, so now I'm just having lunch. I gotta decide what I'm gonna do with the rest of the day. Uh, might do something easy. Might just relax. I don't know. We'll see. I've already done the 
about nine miles today. Um, and now I'm doing another trail out to Deej's Peak or Deg Peak, I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, and yeah, I'm feeling it. I had lunch, might not have been the best idea. Um, but hey, live and learn, live and, li live and let live. At least this one, there's only 800 feet of elevation gain. And I think I've already done most of it. So from here on in, it should just be pretty slow but steady, which I can do. Um, if I was doing those 40 fucking switchbacks about Storm King, I don't know about that one, but this is fine. All right, I'll keep you posted. That shit I was saying about elevation gain being done, that was a lie. Look at that, look at that gain, oh my God. My feet, my poor, poor feet. What am I gonna do? Christine Falls right now, which is awesome. It's very picturesque. Uh, I was at Reflection Lake this morning and I saw a bear, which is pretty exciting. I heard him in the trees at first. He was on the other side of the lake, so he was pretty far from me. But I heard him in the trees first. He's making a lot of noise and like tearing through branches and stuff. Uh, some other photographers that were there said he had actually fallen before I got there. But then like, I saw him like come out like to the lake shore for like a split second and it was a cub. Um, and, and yeah, yeah, so it was pretty cool to see one in person. I didn't get any pictures, I tried to, but the settings were wrong and I, and he was already gone by the time that I took the photo. Um, but it's whatever. I actually got a late start this morning. So I think tomorrow I'm gonna come back to Reflection Lake. Um, to try and get some pictures of the sunlight reflecting off of Mount Rainier as it rises. Um, but yeah, overall, good start to the day so far. Laying down on top of the world. Ugh. I wasn't planning on hiking today. I was just going to do some waterfalls. Um, but then at one of the falls, there was a trail. And I couldn't say no. So I took it. And it was about like 3.6 miles up. It's such bullshit. All these national parks are so wrong. Because they write, like, they say that these hikes, like, like, it was, like, this one was supposed to be, like, 1.9 miles one way. It was 3.6. It's so wrong. Um, and, I mean, the views are worth it, but it's just frustrating because I'm trying to gauge how far I've gone and how, like, close I am to the top. And then it just keeps going and going and I'm just wrong. Um... But yeah, so now I'm just relaxing, had some water. I'm probably gonna head back down soon and honestly go home, I'm so exhausted. Um, yeah, all right, later. So I just checked out of uh, the hotel at Edamclaw. Let's see right there. And now I'm off to Oregon, which is exciting. Gonna visit another state on this road trip of mine. <laughs> I I was looking at it earlier. I think I've driven so far, like, I think when I started, I was at like 11,000 miles or something. And now I'm at like 13,000. But I don't know if it was the beginning or the end of 11,000, I forget. Um, I have it written down somewhere, but yeah. So I'm excited. Gonna be a good three hours of driving, not too bad. And then by the time I get there, hopefully I'll be able to check in and then I'm just gonna relax the rest of the day. I got a couple beers back there that I'll crack into and then chill. <laughs> 